Third, Governor Polis says he expects to extend Colorado's mask mandate. It's set to expire this weekend. He says data is showing mask wearing has contributed to the state's success in reducing the spread of the virus. The current three day average of the positivity rate is 3.14%. The World Health Organization recommends a 5% rate to contain the virus. Colorado. That is good news, what we were just talking about. We are coming together and doing our part. Lori Lizarraga is looking into key numbers in our state. And Lori, for right now, it looks like things are going in the right direction. That's right, Anusha. We're doing something right because COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations in Colorado are the lowest they've been in more than a month. Now, this week, the state's three-day rolling average of COVID cases hit 266. It was more than double that just a few weeks ago. But total case numbers is only based on the total number of people getting tested. So a more accurate read on how severe the disease is in our community comes from those hospitalization numbers. And more good news, those are down too. As of Wednesday, 184 people were in hospitals with COVID-19 in Colorado. Well, back in April, it was closer to 1,000. We talked to our Nine Health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, about these updates. She says we're doing great, but to keep cases down, we need to get to a point where everyone is getting tested regularly. A group of friends wants to get together. They should all go and get tested before they get together. And that's just not happening with those testing numbers going down. So I still think we're a ways from where we can start to get back to some normalcy in life. And if you want to help with that mission of frequent mass testing, the state recently opened two new public testing sites. There's been the one at the Pepsi Center and now two more, one at the Water World in Adams County and one at Aurora Sports Park. All right, thank you for that, Lori. We appreciate it. And we wanted to take the time to actually thank you for doing your part as well. That means rising to the challenge every day to try and stop the spread of this virus. This morning, we've been asking you, how are you helping keep COVID-19 numbers in Colorado lower? You can tweet at us using the hashtag Mile High Mornings or comment on our Facebook page. So taking a look at some of those comments, one person commented that they are staying six feet apart and wearing a mask, which is fantastic. Steven is really getting involved. He is taking care of COVID patients with his mask and face shield. Thank you for all you do. Uh, things got really real for our family when my mom recently had surgery and we started becoming so much more vigilant about what everyone else was doing. And I was really proud and it made me so happy for all of the precautions that people were doing correctly, Lori, because a lot of people have stepped up. Absolutely. I just went home for the first time in eight months because I was afraid to travel and took so many precautions and everyone at home was doing the same. And that, like you said, it's so great to see people coming together. And I bragged earlier about my mask collection. So I brought a few down to show you Oh, because yeah, these are pretty, these are pretty good. Where'd you get the sparkly one? <laughs> I've been this is a gift. This I'm is my disco mask. <laughs> I love them. They're awesome. <laughs> I've been kind of collecting masks too. And I don't know, you know, you said, what do we do with them when this is over? I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to throw mine in a box and, and hopefully we won't have to use them again. But if we do, hey, just pull them back out, right? Exactly. We'll there be ready. Go.